promoted. And uh, Tobias, same question to you. Um, well, personally, I, I'm driven by wanting to build an exciting, inclusive atmosphere here at CATS that can work for everyone. And to work together with you, of course, to improve your lives. Um, and I feel that um, to do that, uh, I should run for presidency, and that I have the personal qualities um, to bring that change about uh, that I think would benefit <coughs> this college and its community. And I, uh, I hope that comes across. <laughs> Um, right, okay, so next up, uh, I don't think either of you went into this in too much depth in your speeches, but what qualifications do you have or relevant experience for the role that you want to tell uh, prospective voters? Um, well, I mean, initially, um, just with regards to the JCR, I've been um, a regular attendee of open meetings, and so I've been able to see um, Alex and uh, others in action to get a grip on how the JCR works and what the role demands. Um, personally, uh, for example, I was very active uh, on the school council, and as a young lady, I'm you know, flaunting my experience here, but on the school council, and um, in the sixth form, I was on my, um, my school's sort of sixth form council, where you mediate between the, the, uh, the governing body and the student body in order to, uh, to tell them how they're going. But similar to the role of the presidency, and I feel that that experience um, would help there. Um, yeah, so I've been to, I think, every single JCI for meeting bar one. Sorry, guys. Um, and in terms of like my experience, so at school I was, I was on, I led an NGO. So I, as part of that, I um, chaired a committee of five other people, and we ran events and fundraising events and stuff like that. So I'm quite experienced in terms of like leading other people who are leaders themselves. Um, Similarly, I was on, I wasn't on my school council, but I was on my school council for, for non-governmental organisations. And I played a role there in terms of mediating between different student leaders of their own non-governmental organisations <coughs> and the school body that helped to support them. And so I think I've got experience in terms of mediating between um, at real adults and not so real adults. Um, but I, I think that's kind of part of my experience. And I had a similar experience in terms at, um, a summer camp that I worked at, um, where I worked as a facilitator, which was a very interesting role because it involved um, leading people who were the same age as me. And I think that's something that's really difficult to, to learn to do, and I think that's something that I've learned to do through doing 